So today I'm going to discuss uh, the top 10 ways to stop playing on slot machines, roulette machines and fob teas and um, fruit machines and pubs as well. Um, basically I used to play on these quite a bit and I use these tips to uh, help me stop playing on them. So obviously you can try them all, it's worth trying them if you're losing a lot of money and seeing which works for you. Um, I think with fruit machines and slot machines and gambling in general, it's probably best to realise that you're not going to win. Um, over the long term, the more you play, the more you're going to lose. And that's the main thing you need to take away. And these other tips are just like to start, get you out of the habit of playing on them. Um, so tip number one is really the main problem once you start playing on them is to stop yourself from playing on them. So really the main solution is not to start. So what I used to do was I would um, I would go out and I would think, well, I'll just um, like put five or ten pound in a machine. And once I'd done that, um, I will put more and more in. So I think that what you've got to do is just not start and when you do get the urge, um, think of something you could have bought with the money you've lost. So, for example, you can think of a car or you could have went out with, the, with your friends or you could have had a new mobile phone or something like that um, to put you off starting playing on them. So that's a really good tip. Um, tip number two is to get addicted to something else. Um, some people might not agree with it, but it's worth trying... Um, getting addicted to another game is so like angry birds or something like that put that on your phone and play on that buy an xbox or an xbox game that you know is quite addictive and play on that instead um so for example i downloaded a pool game for my phone and if i was in a pub or something and there was a fruit machine there i would just play on the pool game instead um and it does work um but you want to get addicted to a game that doesn't cost you any money, essentially. Um, so tip number three is realize that these games are built to be addictive. Basically, when pe when these companies are building these games, they're building them with psychology professors and brain scientists, scientists working on them to make them more and more addictive. So. Um, an example of that is that it would nearly always hit the jackpot, but it never would, and that would to get you to play more and more. Um, another example would be on the slot machines. Um, it would play like melody music to soothe your mind, um, so that you don't get into like a state of shock about how much money you're actually putting into it. Um, and it it'll also put you in a trance-like state, um, where you just um basically to get you to part with your money and put it in the machine. Um, so these machines are built to be addictive and there's lots of videos on YouTube that show that. Um, tip number four is a really good tip and this is something you can do initially when you um, try and stop and that's to don't go out with much money in your wallet or purse. So what I would find is if I had money in my wallet I would um, want to go and play on these machines and I would, I would be more likely to put money in um, so obviously if you haven't got the money there in your wallet or purse just you're not going to play it on these machines because most machines are cash um, they only take cash what I would recommend is that you have a credit card or something and you pay for stuff on that so like um, paying for like petrol or food or whatever pay for it on the card and don't go out with more than like 50 60 quid on you um tip number five is probably one of the best tips and it's really to self-exclude yourself from the betting shops or the places where you play these machines so an example for me was that what i would do is i would go and get a chinese takeaway and whilst i was waiting for the takeaway to be made i would get bored so i would go in the shop the betting shop across the road and play on the machines in there and obviously that was i was losing loads of money doing that so I just self excluded myself from that shop um, and it's very easy to do all you have to do is fill in a form 
Um, if you email the fir- the Ben companies, so like Paddy Power and people like that, they'll send you out the f- they'll email you out the form, and you just fill it in, get a passport photo, and um, attach that and post it back in. Um, some companies like Real- William Hill make it really difficult to do. Um, so I would recommend with them you have to like get the form filled in and then go into the actual shop and meet the manager and all that so right faff on but it's definitely worth doing um especially if there's one place where you're going all the time to play on these machines and people might think well i'm worried about what the staff think and stuff like that but the staff probably uh, think you're a bit of an idiot anyway to be honest if you're going in and putting all your money in these machines and they're probably going to think you're a bit of a mug and uh, they'll probably respect you more if you do it, if you self-exclude yourself, because it shows that you're taking responsibility and you're not going to waste your money. Um, tip number six is probably one of the most difficult things to do is to accept your losses and really to view them as an expensive ent- entertainment fee. So realize that the more you play, the more you're going to lose, and that chasing your losses will make you lose even more money. So the more you put in the machines, the more you want to play, the more you play on them, the more you're going to lose, and that's just um, logical to say that because these machines work on percentages or so-called percentages, and um, the more you play, the more you're going to lose, and you have to accept that you've lost that money. And don't go chasing that money that you've lost. Just forget it. Wipe the slate clean. Because if you don't, um, going on to tip number seven, these machines will basically destroy you. I mean, tip number seven is to tell yourself that playing these games will destroy you, as it has done with so many other people. Uh, More people commit suicide because of gambling than anything else. Um, In the UK, that is. Um pretty much if you tell your mind something so many times it'll start to go in there and sink in and your brain will start to think oh you gotta keep away from these machines so keep telling yourself when you get the urge to play on them that these machines will destroy you they'll um, drive you into the ground they'll take all your money and don't play on them whatever no matter what just don't play on them the they're going to waste your time and they're going to waste your money. Um, tip number eight is to take each day as it comes and realise that the first few days will be the most difficult. So when I first stopped, I would get urges to go and play on them um, like every hour or every couple of hours, I would say. And now I don't really get the urges to play on them. I really will say once... Uh, week or once a month i might think oh i fancy doing that and straight away i would think no um so realize that the first few days are the most difficult and try and fill those days with other activities so go to the cinema uh go out with your family or do something else just avoid playing on them and basically each day will get easier and easier as your mind starts to think away from these machines because you've been playing them for so long it's really a habit and that's how most addictions are just habits um, and that's what this is you you have a habit of going into certain places and playing these machines self exclude exclude yourself from those places and stop yourself from going in and it'll get easier and easier as time goes on um, tip number nine is if you gamble with friends tell me you no longer want to uh, go and avoid going so for example if you're going out to the casino with your friends just stop going tell them you don't want to go you're losing losing too much money um it's not worth it um, it's pissing you off and you're sick of it and just tell them and um if they don't accept that stop hanging around with them uh tip number 10 and the final tip is really if everything else fails um you could try hypnosis as this works for some people um but te- it really depends on your psychology whether it will work for you and the cost will probably be between 60 and 80 pound in the uk 
so that's like 150 200 dollars in the us um but think of it this way for that cost you lose that money in one session gambling um quite easily i think so if you go on a bookies or play on a fruit machine you don't lose that money anyway so it's worth a shot at it if everything else seems to be failing and it definitely does work for some people because I've talked to people who said that this has worked for them um, let me know your thoughts below in the comments uh, part and I'll try and put some links on um, underneath so you can watch the other videos I explain more about why you get addicted to these machines and stuff like that and uh, thanks for watching.